Recycling is an important part of life today. We need to cut down the amount of rubbish being dumped at landfill sites, and it is important that we do our bit and recycle our rubbish. Preston City Council is committed to recycling and to making Preston a cleaner and greener city. We've now introduced recycling to every home in Preston. The recycling scheme is easy to use. You place your waste in the red lidded box, yellow lidded box, brown bin, and your non-recyclable waste in the gray rubbish bin, and it's collected directly from your home. Let's take a closer look at how to use the household recycling scheme. The red lidded box is for your plastic bottles and cardboard. They both go in the same box. If you put more than one material inside the box, please make sure you separate them first. Well, why do I have to do that? The vehicle has two compartments. We can't mix the materials or the crew have to separate every little item inside the box. The more time it takes, the longer it is for them to do their jobs. So let's start with plastic. We only take plastic bottles. So why don't you start putting them in the box? Please try to squash them first. It's okay to leave the lid on, but try to squeeze all the air out. Can I put this in? No, it has to be bottle shaped. There are many types of plastics, but only some can be recycled. We know for certain that bottle shaped plastic can be recycled. Margarine tubs, yogurt pots, and anything else that does not look like a bottle must go in the rubbish bin. Please make sure you rinse out your bottles. Milk can be really smelly after two weeks in your recycling box. Don't forget, we will also take shampoo bottles and cleaning products. Your cardboard also goes in the red lidded box. You'll need to flatten it or it takes up too much room in the vehicle. Don't forget your paper towel and toilet paper tubes. The yellow lidded box is for your paper, cans, and glass. If you put more than one material inside the box, please separate them first. The vehicle is divided into different compartments. We need to separate each material before it can go into the vehicle. Not only does it save time, but it is safer too. Glass and sharp cans can injure the crews. So let's start with glass. We would like all your glass bottles and jars, but no broken ones, please. We don't want any mirrors, drinking glasses or sheet glass. If they are broken, put them in the rubbish bin. Before recycling the glass, please bin the plastic lids. What about metal lids? Please put them in with your cans. We will take all your cans as long as they are clean. You don't need to remove the labels. Don't forget the foil too. Even your foil milk bottle tops can go in. We also take all your paper in our yellow lidded recycling box. Newspapers and magazines are obvious. Envelopes are okay too, but don't forget the junk mail. Make sure you take the plastic wrapping off any catalogs. What about catalogs with cardboard covers? Pull off the cover and put that in the red lidded box. The rest of it goes in with your paper. You can recycle your clothing in your yellow lidded box, but in some areas it goes into your red lidded box. Please check your calendar first so you know which box to put it in. Your brown bin is for your garden waste, such as grass, branches and twigs, hedge clippings, and weeds. If fruit falls from a tree, you can put that in your brown bin, but we can't accept any fruit or vegetables that are store-bought. Since foot and mouth disease, you may not put fruit or vegetables from your kitchen in the brown bin. If you have a home compost bin, you can continue to use it for fruit and veg from your kitchen. You can also put in dead cut flowers. 
You need to take dead plants out of the pot and shake the soil off. We do not take soil or any plastic, stones, or rubble in the brown bin. Once we collect your garden waste, it is taken to the local composting site where all the material breaks down. The compost is then sold at the local household waste disposal center. You can see how easy it is to recycle. It only takes a few minutes a day to sort your rubbish once you've got into the habit. You will help to cut down on the amount of rubbish being sent to landfill sites, and who knows what your recycled rubbish may be used for.